12 or 3 pages, so you know when it's nearly finished. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Japanese uh, hotel room bonus. This was going to be the season of color. Jet lagged in the 10th floor hotel room. You look out over the sea. It's evening and things are hallowed in the next red haze. So beautiful across the street. The street lights irradiating the facades, nightfall. Shadows float over the sea as if real bodies are breathing them out. In this season of color, with a warm night, a woman in an immaculate white uniform stands one floor down with her eyes closed, passionately kissing the window. No idea who or what you are in this place, so far from home, from everything you know, saying your wife's name, your husband's, with your forehead pressed against the hotel window, as if moving your mouth might keep them alive. You see reflections in the dark below, Crystals swept together, but here it's safe in a lonely kind of room. It must be almost noon at home. The greenish emergency lighting in the corridor in the silver lift. Gaudy flower shaped water lilies on the sky blue carpet. Gaudy flower shaped jellyfish on the sky blue carpet. The inexhaustible lift goes up and down, sighing, open, sighing, shut. That kind of night, to be exhausted, to sleep. There are so many lonely people. You can rent family. No idea who will kneel down beside you, who will shine a torch into your eyes. Her breath smells of a moon. The last few years, the sunsets have been bright and colorful. Still summer, but golden fans are already scattered under the ginkgos. Metallic green pheasants take wing, leaping grown dolphins. Yet, so much loneliness. A woman lets herself be grown through a hole in the door, blindly pushing towards it like a plant of light. Things are hallowed with a rainbow haze. You look out over the nighttime sea, completely jet lagged. Open the doors with a fist or a hip. Avoid contact with liquids. You lie naked on the bed under the gigantic ceiling moon, weak with exhaustion, deformed. A body sinking half into dream, bending forward to lay close in a row, stepping deep shouldered into the sea, toppling into hip deep water, swimming into darkness, a silver body turning back. Awake now for 48 hours, a glow shoots through the nighttime sea like a dolphin. You stand at the window. Naked, out of the darkness, men and women emerge into the saffron of the street lamps, wearing masks, looking up at the tenth floor like a flock of buffaloes, pointing with their beaks as if they will go to rescue you.